Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if your Wi-Fi network list is not showing in your Windows machine. Now, the first method is to go ahead and check if Wi-Fi is enabled. You will have to ensure the Wi-Fi adapter is enabled on your computer. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on run. In the run window, you may go ahead and type control and then click on OK. Once you click on OK, you would see the control panel on your computer. In case if you are on the view by small icons or large icons, go ahead and choose the category view. Once you are on the category view, you will have to go ahead and click on network and internet. Once you click on network and internet, you will have to click on network and sharing center. And then on the left hand side, you will have to go ahead and click on change adapters. Once you are on the network connection window, you will have to do a right click on Wi-Fi adapter and select enable if it has been disabled. In my case, the Wi-Fi adapter is enabled. That's why I have an option to disable. In case if it is disabled, you will see an enable option. You will have to click on enable, close this window and then check if you are able to see the network list. In spite of Wi-Fi adapter is being enabled and if you are still facing a problem, the next step what you could try is to go ahead and restart the Wi-Fi services. So basically you will have to go ahead and restart the WLAN auto config service. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on run. And in the run window, you will have to go ahead and type services.msc and then click on OK. This should open the services.msc window. Once you're on the services window, you will have to locate for WLAN auto config. It would be in alphabetical order. You will have to do a right click and then click on restart. Make sure the WLAN autoconfig auto service has been uh, running. Once that is done, you will also have to make sure the startup type is being set to automatic. To do this, you will have to do a right click on WLAN autoconfig and then click on properties and make sure the startup type is being set to automatic. In case if these options are grayed out, you may go ahead and click on stop and then change the startup type to automatic and then click on start, apply and then click on OK. You can close this window, restart your computer and then check if you are able to see the network list on your computer. Just in case if you are able to see the network list, you are well and good. You don't need to try the next method. Now the next method to resolve this issue is to go and run the Windows troubleshooter for the network. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you're on these settings, you will have to go ahead and click on system and you will have to scroll down to the extreme bottom and then locate for troubleshoot. Click on troubleshoot. Under troubleshoot, you will see an option for other troubleshooter. Click on it. And here you will see network and internet troubleshooter. In case if you're not able to see under most frequent, you would see it under other. You will have to click on run. Follow the step-by-step -step instructions on the screen. So basically what this will do is this will go ahead and run the network troubleshooter on your computer. Basically it will try to check if there are any issues related to the network or network adapter and try to fix the problem by itself by running this network troubleshooter. Once this is done, you may close this window, restart your computer and then check if you are able to see a Wi-Fi network list on your computer. In case if you are able to see the network list, well and good, you don't need to try the next method. Now the next method to resolve this issue is to go ahead and reset network set. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you're on the settings, you will have to go ahead and click on network and internet on the left hand side. And then on the right hand side, you will have to go ahead and click on advanced network settings. Once you're on the advanced network settings, you will have to locate for network reset under more settings. Click on it and then click on reset now. Once this is done, you will have to follow the instructions on the screen, close this window, restart your computer, and then check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next method. Now the next method is to go ahead and update or reinstall your Wi-Fi drivers. 
Now to update the driver, you will have to open the device manager by doing a right click on the start button and then click on the device manager. Once you have the device manager open, you will have to go ahead and expand the network adapters. It would be in alphabetical order. There are a couple of things what you could do. Now here you will have to identify your default network adapter. In my case, it is Qualcomm. So you will have to do a right click and then click on update driver. Search automatically for the drivers and then click on close. And in case if there is a real tech one, you may also go ahead and update the driver. Search automatically for the drivers and then click on close. And once this is done, you can go ahead and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next method. Now, since you're on already on this window, another thing what you could also do is you can go ahead and do a right click and then click on scan for hardware changes. This will identify if there has been any hardware changes on your computer for your network adapters. In case if, if there is any hardware changes, it will try to scan for those changes and update the driver. Now, once this is done, you may close this window, restart your computer, and then check if your issue has been resolved. Now, all this step should definitely resolve the problem. So in spite of all this issue, and if you're still facing a problem, I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with the possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.